All right, guys, so this one should be a lot of fun because today we are gonna be running probably my favorite team in the entire game right now, the new and improved reps of Universe 7, of course, with the addition of the sixth anniversary Dual Token Fest LRs, the Int LR SSB Vegeta, and the AGL LR UI Goku. Now, for those of you that haven't seen all of my summons up to this point, you know, the initial stream with Android 18, the three collabs, as well as my summoning video yesterday with my little brother Phoenix, then feel free to pause this video right now and go watch those summons before coming back because in a minute I will be spoiling exactly what I pulled uh, up to this point. Okay, so uh, with all that said, let's uh, take a quick look at the team we're about to bring. And as you can see, my AGL LRUI Goku his rainbow now it happened yesterday in that video with my little brother i don't know how he does it but that kid is like it's just magic man because almost every single time he comes on the channel something like this happens you know so uh, yeah we got our ui goku done and i haven't been slouching on the links either max links pretty solid skill orbs so this guy should be very very good in this showcase and then for the rest of the team, we have the LR Blue Boys at 100%, and also close to max links for some reason that one Fierce Battle link refuses to level up, but uh, close enough, I guess. And then we also have the STR, LR UI Goku, max links, and we also have, of course, my SSB Vegeta. Now this guy is currently at 90%. I'm still debating whether or not I want to go for that final dupe right now. It's really tempting. It really is, but we got the part two banner coming up. We got the worldwide celebration coming up. So I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. But uh, yeah, he is good to go as well, except for legendary power, of course, which is still level nine. We'll get him there soon. And then we also have the Fizz final form Angel Frieza at 100%. And even though he doesn't share a ton of links with the rest of the team, he is a really good tank who can stack defense, so his main job here is really just to, you know, keep us alive, right? And after that, we have the new tech ultimate Gohan and Piccolo, and these guys are at 90%, and I would say they do a little bit of everything. They got some really good defense, they do some decent damage, obviously provide support to the entire team. And they can also stun, but that's not really going to be a factor here. But overall, just a really, really solid unit. And finally, the friend is a Rainbow LR SSB Vegeta. I did briefly think about bringing a second UI Goku, because I do think UI Goku is the superior unit. But since we're on the GT Legendary Goku event, and the final boss is a tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the double Vegeta's definitely made a lot more sense. So there you go, that is the team. And with all that said, let's get this run started and see just how big of a difference these new LRs will make for, uh, you know, the reps of Universe 7 on the GT Legendary Goku event. Because for anybody that tried to beat it with this team before the anniversary, you would know that it was really freaking hard man i'm not gonna say impossible because obviously people have done it i did do it as well on stream after uh a couple of tries i don't know maybe like three or four tries but i needed some really really good rng man okay so we're getting supered immediately uh not bad <laughs> not bad vegeta all right um but as i was saying man like it was really hard because there weren't a lot of good tanks, and you just needed to have like the perfect RNG. Like in my run, I think I was getting like all the dodges, I was getting all the additionals, um, you know, tons of crits and everything, and that's how, you know, I was able to do it. But for a bunch of people, I know it was like nearly impossible because maybe they didn't have a lot of dupes in their units, maybe they didn't have godly RNG like I did. So uh, it was definitely a struggle. But now we have these guys and they are two of the arguably best defensive units in the game. I'm not saying they're as good as Golden Frieza or anything like that, but 
you know, we got Goku with his 70% chance to dodge forever until the final phase here. But for most stages, for most events, he has 70% chance to dodge, you know, indefinitely. And then we have Vegeta with his damage reduction. So both of them are very, very good defensive units. And you're able to bring at least three of them if you want to, right? Both the LRs plus a friend one. So it should make a very big difference. Not to say it's going to be a breeze. I'm sure we'll run into some problems along the way. But it's going to be a lot easier than it was before. That's for sure, right? Um, let me quickly check the defense here for these guys. My Goku's at 178,948. The friend Vegeta should have a lot more defense, but unfortunately, we took a super, so his defense got lowered. But uh, I think everything will be okay if I leave Goku in the front there. Let's give him six orbs. And I actually want to see Goku finish off the GT Goku by himself. Can he do it? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so there's one dodge. And 18 key super, about 4.5 mil. Not too shabby. I know some people are not going to be that impressed by the attack stat because we're just used to seeing units hit really hard these days, right? Like get crazy attack stats on the first turn. Like GT Goku, for example, can get 6, 7, 8 mil attack right on turn one so when you see this from ui goku you're like yo he's a new dokkan fest lr shouldn't he be doing more right but you can't just yo that ko screen is beautiful <laughs> i love it man but um yeah man i mean you can't just judge a unit based on the attack stat you got to look at their entire kit and both the goku and vegeta have a 50 percent chance to crit on both their supers they have the chance for additional super attack Obviously, with hidden potential investment, possibly a third super attack. They have active skills. They have revival skills. They just do a lot. So, um, yeah, needless to say, they're both awesome. And uh, people definitely shouldn't be judging them based off the attack stat alone. Okay, so uh, now we have the STR UI and the SSBE. Uh, as you can see, yeah, my SSB Vegeta up to almost 200,000 defense. But we do need the int UI to build up his uh, passive a little bit. So I'm going to put him in the first slot. This might not be pretty, but we need him to get some dodges before we get to the final stage where he can't dodge anymore. I need him to max out his passive. So hopefully we get a good amount of dodges. That's two. That's three. Okay, that's four. Not bad. All right. All right. I think we got one dodge. Did we, get, did we get one or two dodges on the first turn? I don't remember, actually. But, yeah, he's close to max passive now. I think his defense will be around 200,000 once we max it out. So, I'm not too worried about him. He's still very, very good, guys. Okay, SSBE doing some pretty good damage. And then we have the Piccolo and Gohan, about 2 million. They do get more and more attack with every single turn. So, they're going to be good as well. There we go. And we got the active skills for Goku and Vegeta this turn. Uh, I think I'm going to save it. But what I'm going to do is actually let this Vegeta take a few more hits. Because Vegeta needs 7 hits to have his revival skill activated. So, yeah, right now, I don't think we're going to be able to get the active skill. Did I say active skill or revival skill? I meant revival skill. Yeah, we need Vegeta to take more hits so that we can get his revival skill later on if we need it. And we did take quite a bit of damage there. And the reason for that is because we did take a super in the past and that uh, lowered its defense. I think our defense just got lowered again. So that friend Vegeta actually isn't going to be super tanky anymore. It's kind of unfortunate. Um... I still think we'll be okay, but like I said, you know, it's not going to be a breeze still. This event is still pretty hard, but just comparatively speaking, relatively speaking, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. Um, maybe I should, I'm thinking, maybe I should put the Vegeta in the front, or the Vegeta in the back, the Frieza in the front, so we can let the Frieza stack a bit more defense, because right now his defense is not that good. It's only at 143,000. 
And yeah, once we get to full power Super Saiyan 4, that's not gonna hold up, so... I'm gonna let this Frieza super a couple times. Let's at least get him to like 250k defense or so. That's where I would feel pretty confident in his tanking ability. And we should be good. And there we go. Yeah, tanking pretty well right now. And then we have the STR UI getting up to over 6 million attack now. This guy's like, yo, guys, don't forget about me. Okay, I'm still really good. Oh, please dodge. Come on. Oh, thank you. Oh, coming in clutch, man. Coming in so clutch. Um, yeah, he's like, yo, guys, don't forget about me. I'm still legit. Okay, I'm still a monster. <laughs> Even though everybody's on the AGL uh, UI Goku right now, everybody's on, you know, the Int UI EZA. STR UI is still a beast. And once the same name update comes out for Global, I'm probably gonna run all the UIs on the same team anyways. So you don't really have to like pick and choose, but uh, yeah, STR UI showing us, he still got it, man. He's definitely still got it. Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, AGL UI in the front, uh, 193,000 defense, pretty good. And of course he does also get an additional 30% defense after he dodges. So it should be up to like 250k or so, I believe. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Alright, so there goes Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and look at that KO screen. Both these guys, both the Goku and Vegeta, their KO screens are so awesome, man. Okay, okay, moving on. I'm uh, spending too much time, like, freaking out over these animations and stuff, but dude, they're, they're just so dope. Both these units are so dope. And that's why, like I said, this is one of my favorite teams in the game. Also, probably, arguably the best team in the game right now, at least on global. But uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Do you think this is currently the best team in the game? Do you think there's a better team out there? Um, because, I mean, if this is not the best team, it's got to be one of them, right? It's at least got to be top three right now. Okay, so this rotation is interesting. We got so many attacks in the first slot and no attacks anywhere else. Uh, do I feel okay about putting STR UI there? I'm not sure, because if he doesn't dodge a super, we're probably dead. So just to be safe, I'm going to use the Whis to guarantee that we stay alive. If we had the revival skill, obviously, I wouldn't use anything, but uh, right now there's no revival skill available, so uh, yeah, just to be safe, we're going to use the Whis. I'm sure UI Goku will come through and give us the dodges, but I mean, honestly, he's failed so many times in the past. He's let me down so many times with the supers that I really can't consistently trust him. Okay, so we didn't get super this turn, we'll probably get super next turn, and uh, we'll still have the Whis, so we'll be okay for that. Uh, Alright, I was kind of hoping I could do a no item run today, but I'd also rather stay alive and not like die this far into the video, so uh, the item had to be used, sadly. Alright, this is where Goku is going to shine. I I think I'm going to actually pop, hmm, yeah, let's do it. Let's pop the active skill here. This is where he's going to be the most effective. Um, if we wait until, you know, full power Super Saiyan 4, he's not really going to do much damage. But here, we got the type advantage. So enjoy this animation, and uh, let's see how much damage we can do here. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. All right. Um, let's put Goku there. I'm going to save the Vegeta active skills for the last phase where we have type advantage over full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And we should be able to kill the Golden Ape now. Dodge? Ooh. All right. So we didn't dodge that. Like I said, man, sometimes with the... Uh, the UI Gokus, I have some trust issues because they tend to dodge a lot of normal attacks 
and then fail on the supers, and then get me killed. So, <laughs> even though they've been doing well in this video, don't get me wrong, like, they're, they're dodging a lot, and they have dodged some supers. Uh, I just have a hard time feeling confident, you know, when there's a lot of attacks with these guys. So, um, let me see about this turn. I want to lose some HP, actually, because I think one of the Vegetas should have their revival skill available at this point, although I'm not sure. Uh, so let's do, let's do no items this turn. Uh, I'm just praying that the super isn't at the end because as, you know, good defensively as Piccolo and Gohan are, I don't think they'll be able to stand up to a super here. So if we're going to get supered, hopefully it's the blue boys or UI Goku. And, oh, there we go. All right, perfect, perfect. Can we take like 100k or so? Maybe 150, mm. That's not enough damage, man. That's, that's not enough damage. What can I say? I was hoping it would take at least like 150, 200, but I guess not. It's kind of a fine balance, really. Like, it's kind of hard to get you know, below 50% HP, but also not die, and get that revival skill. So like, as great as revival skills are, one thing I will say is that I think they are kind of situational. I guess most people can agree with that. Yeah, they're pretty situational. Um, and you, you know, you have to have things kind of work out for you to be able to get it. Otherwise, sometimes when you need it, you know, it's not available, and uh, yeah, they're still good though. Don't mean, like, I'm not, I'm not saying like revival skills are bad, right? Don't, don't take that away from what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's uh, not perfect. But I guess that was the point. They didn't want to make it like something that's really easy to get because that might be too OP. Like if there were no conditions for revival skills, that would probably be too busted. So uh, I understand why they made them the way they did, but nonetheless, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky to get that revival skill in this video. Um, I hope we get it though, because the animations are really awesome. Uh, both Vegeta and Goku. I would prefer the Goku one, but if we get the Vegeta one too, uh, or instead, hey, I'd be happy with that. So. We'll see how it goes, man. If we don't get the revival skill, though, then I'm sorry, guys. You know, I want to see it, but I can't guarantee it. At the very least, I will do the uh, the two SSB Vegeta active skills for you in the last stage, and then we'll have two shirtless Vegetas lying around. Should be a good time. So uh, yeah, <laughs> look forward to that. Um, I'm gonna save it for now, though, obviously, because this guy's almost dead. So uh, why don't we just leave Vegeta there, just not pop his active skill. By the way, Dokkan memes or out of context uh, Dokkan tubers, please don't clip that. <laughs> I would appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, now that I've said it, it's going to happen, but just, just don't do it, man. Just don't do it. All right, so Super Saiyan 4 Goku's dead. Moving on to the final phase here with the full power Super Saiyan 4, and this guy, it's pretty hard. And the thing that's very unfortunate is that Goku can no longer dodge, you know? So, um, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna play this. I'll probably put Goku in the middle because there's the least attacks there. His defense is still gonna be good. It's still gonna be around 200,000, but if we take a Superman, that could be really bad. I think that might kill us. Well, first things first, let me pop the active skill. Enjoy the animation. The damage probably won't be amazing because this is a attack all active skill. It's an AOE attack, but over a million at least, I would say. Oh. Okay, we got the crit, so damn, that was actually some really good damage. I take that back. But generally speaking, 
uh, Goku's super attack will do more damage than Vegeta's super attack just because Goku's is single target whereas Vegeta's is attack all, you know, and the multiplier is just uh, higher for Goku. But uh, not this time, apparently, not this time. Okay, so <sighs> should we pop something? I'm going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to take the risk because this gives us a higher chance to potentially see a uh, revival skill next turn if we get below 50%. So even though this could get us killed, I think it's a worthy risk. I'm just praying that it doesn't get us killed because that would be super sad. We're so late into the video, man. Like, the run's almost done. If I die here, I might cry. I might cry. Come on, super me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If Goku gets supered, it, it, I think it's over, guys. I think it might be over. Oh, some nice damage. Oh, additional. All right. All right. Okay, Goku, don't get supered. If you do get supered, survive. I believe in you. Triple super. Amazing. Yo, my anxiety is like through the roof right now. Come on. Okay, first hit, second. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, so Piccolo and Gohan, I think, can definitely survive a super attack right now. I believe they can. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Please don't die. Please. Oh, we're alive. Oh, we're alive. And we have the we have the revival skill, guys. You can tell because the heart at the bottom is like on fire. So uh yeah, we can we can let anybody take a hit right now. In fact, I'm going to leave UI Goku there because I think he has the best chance of getting killed. And I'm not even going to give an 18 key super to SSBE just because I'm scared that SSBE is going to kill, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku before we get a chance to die. So here we go. Hopefully we get to see this revival skill, man. I really, I haven't seen it from Vegeta yet. I haven't seen Vegeta's yet. Um, I've only seen Goku's and it's amazing. I mean, I've seen both, obviously, as like animations on, you know, Facebook and stuff, but I've never seen it in my game because they are kind of hard to get. So, okay, Vegeta, you gotta stop. Oh no, don't crit. Goku, don't crit. Don't do it. Please. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, super me. Super me. Bro, super me. What are you doing? Didn't super us there. Yo, Frieza, don't don't kill him. Thank you. Oh my god. Come on. Don't do it. Don't crit. Don't crit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Super? No super. Okay, well, I mean, we should have it this turn too, right? We, st we also have the revival skill this turn. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to give one orb... <laughs> To these guys and uh, I will put UI Goku in the middle because I feel like he has you no know, he definitely has a much lower chance of killing Super Saiyan 4 Goku all right so oh okay now we're dead now we're dead now we're dead here we go revival skill time unfortunately it's Goku again who, who I already got but it doesn't even matter, man. It doesn't even matter. Oh. So good. So good. And we're back. We're back, guys. Okay, so I could potentially just finish this off with a Vegeta active skill attack. Why don't we go for it? This should do it, guys. If it doesn't, then we'll just, you know, finish it off with the final super. But uh, I'm pretty sure this will be enough damage to get the job done. I'm just so happy, man. We got the revival skill. Like, I've done so many runs with these guys. Whoa. Still alive. All right. 
yeah, I've done so many runs with these guys and just haven't been able to get in the right situation because you do need to take a good amount of hits. You also need to be below 50% HP. And a lot of times, you know, like I'm just worried about dying. So like I'll use a Princess Snake or something before I get below 50%. It's kind of a fine line, it's a fine balance. But anyways, we got it. This is as close to a perfect run as uh, we can get. It, it was almost a no item run actually. I mean, we used one Whis, right? Which I don't even know if if it was necessary. Maybe I was just being extra. Let's see. But yeah, we used the Whis. That's it though. So so nearly a no item run. We didn't really need the Icarus either, right? The Icarus was just there for fun, but didn't really help that much. Uh, there you go, guys. Reps of Universe Seven on the GT Legendary Goku event. I'm not gonna say it's very easy, but it's definitely much, much easier than it was before. And this team, man, this team is absolutely insane. Definitely my favorite team in the game right now, and easily one of the most OP teams, one of the most busted teams in the game right now. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase. Uh, hope your summons are going well. Let me know in the comments down below what you've pulled so far in how many stones and I pray that nobody is getting shafted too badly. I know some people are getting destroyed but hopefully most of you are doing okay and uh, that's it guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the crazy thing about this team actually is that it's only going to be getting better in part two and part three of the anniversary you know because we got the int UI Goku EZA coming we got the LR Goku and Frieza EZA. We got the Free to Play Awakenings and Extreme Z Awakenings. So yeah, lots more anniversary content on the way. Lots more coverage on this channel. Don't go anywhere. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out